Lumio was born um, during the Occupy movement. So Occupy Wall Street in 2011 arrived in New Zealand in October. And um, for me and a lot of my friends, that was our first experience of collective decision making, you know, sitting in a circle and, and actually practicing democracy face to face. And that experience was like mind blowing, you know, and, and um, heart expanding and um, it, it totally it totally shifted my identity and transformed the course of my life and all that. Um, but it was also really frustrating, really, really frustrating to try and do direct democracy face to face, always in person. So my friends and I sort of thought, well, surely we can have the promise of this democracy thing, but not have to always be in meetings. <laughs> so that was where the idea came from, was to, to practice that kind of um, collaborative decision making, but to do it online so it was more accessible to people more of the time. We started building this software thinking this will be good for Occupy and maybe for other activists. And as soon as we started, we got inquiries from the city government or from small businesses or from community groups, you know, any group of people that is organizing online, they're talking, 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 but they're not making decisions and so they want a decision making tool. So we very rapidly switched from we're building a tool for activists to we're building a tool for anyone that needs to make a decision online and wants to do it without resorting to a, a hierarchy. Culture change happens quite slowly. It doesn't happen by technology just you know, technology can set the conditions and it provokes maybe a, a question, but the answer actually comes from people changing something in their identity, something about the way that they behave. And so that process of shifting a culture, globally shifting a culture, is, is this like slow process that needs to happen in an in a iterative, evolving way that, you know, it adapts locally and then, then it moves on and learns something else every time it moves from Spain to France to Iceland to Taiwan, you know, amazing progress in Taiwan. Now you can see little sparks in Korea, you know, and who knows where it's going to turn up in, in next month. We're building social networks, so direct person-to-person -person, um, relationships where people learn to care about each other. It's super important, that building that solidarity. And we are like an ecosystem, you know, like, like the way that evolution works is there are a million different experiments happening all at the same time and some of them get ahead and some of them fall behind and the, the DNA gets remixed and remixed and it gets changing. And we need to have a thousand democracy platforms all trying their different version and recombining and sharing their ideas and maybe, maybe in the end only ten of them will be successful but they'll be successful because of the thousand that went before them. So these kind of convergences I think are t totally, totally critical.